Uh, well, it definitely boosted our confidence. Uh, has us feeling good going into our uh, next two game, uh, next two home games with uh, LMU and Pepperdine. It was good because we came off uh, two losses to Portland and Gonzaga. So now we got our minds right, and so hopefully we take those two, that, uh, the win against San Francisco, and uh, use it as motivation for the next two games. We always want to win all of our home games. We think it's important for our road trips to to split them at least, get one out of the two wins. Home games. We have to get those wins, starting with LMU, who has beaten us five out of the last six times, and we all remember that. So we're definitely locking in for this game to, to get that win. We're just going to be a really physical game like it was against San Francisco, and um, I know that we're just going to have to execute our defense, our defense and just play harder than them, which is what we focus on every game. So boxing out is huge for us, and the uh, biggest, biggest factor is physicality, though. Well, we're definitely going to focus on taking care of the ball. We're probably going to do some, a lot of passing drills, a lot of drills uh, with handling pressure. With LMU, they like to play at a fast pace. So we're going to definitely do a lot of transition offense and defense in practice this week uh, to shore up our offense and take care of the ball. When, when we put a shot up, we run back on defense right away, not focusing on whether the ball goes in or if, it, or if we miss. We just have to make sure we, we turn our heads and get back and get the other way so we can be ready for what they're about to bring to us. Uh, we just have to execute all our sets. We, uh, we're, we've been playing pretty well. We've been clicking the last couple of games. So each game or each practice we take, we got to try and get better as a core group. And uh, I feel like we definitely are. Come out and support us. I don't think they realize how big of an impact that they have for us. So if they can come out and get a good crowd. That will really help us, especially get going early in the game with a lot of energy. And uh, it will just, just do a lot for us defensively uh, for the most part. Number one singles, Ashat Acheron, and number two, Ilya Osensev, won all eight of their sets and dropped only 12 games in the doubleheader. I Bronco talked to Sam Bertram of the men's tennis team after the Broncos' victory. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We got Sebi back there. Picked up by Hubbard in the corner. That's a three-pointer for Denzel Johnson, and it's good. Pass intercepted by Jarvis Pugh. Brandon Clark, front court to Jarvis. 